Okay. If you're a diehard fan of Blender and open source stuff, you may not like this because I'm using Photoshop and not GIMP. But uh, anyway, this is a quick little video about um, how I'm doing my animatic. Uh, basically the moving storyboards that I'm going to be cutting to, together to try and get a sense of the timing of the animation. Um, I began doing the storyboards and the animatic on pencil and paper because that's what I'm used to and you know what Photoshop is just so much easier or just drawing <laughs> on the computer if you're going to be doing something like this is just so much easier. So what I'm doing is I'm just drawing in Photoshop. Uh, I believe this is shot number 30 in the in animation I'm doing. I'm going to be drawing in Photoshop, uh, saving it as a JPEG, and then importing it into Adobe Premiere to cut together on the timeline there. Um, and that's pretty much what this is about. I tend to draw very rough in Photoshop and then basically erase until I see something I like. Um, I think it was Michelangelo that said he would see the sculpture in the stone and then carve the stone away to reveal what was in there. Um, that's kind of the way I feel about my drawing sometimes. I just make a bunch of scribbles and then begin erasing to find something I like in there. I had originally thought about doing a um, an animatic with actual rendered 3D objects after I get uh, get all that done, but uh, I still, for some reason, like the uh, the look of a drawn animatic. I think it. Uh, I'm afraid that if I tried to do this kind of thing in 3D that I'd get too caught up in it and I'd spend too much time on it and it would end up looking or being more like the final product than I I wanted and then I'd be afraid of changing things and um, trying new new things so I like the unfinished quality of drawing the animatic still that's just me And I love the, l the little things that you can do in Photoshop or GIMP, uh, selecting a particular part of your drawing and then it, um, in l enlarging it or shrinking it or moving it. I love that. <laughs> it's so much easier. I, I don't think the work I do in terms of drawing or painting or whatever is as good when I do it in Photoshop but it's quicker and right now when I'm working on an animation that I want to complete someday um, I kinda make choices um, my goal is to get this whole thing done in a year um, you know with work and family and everything else going on it's kind of test kind of tough to spend a, a lot of time on it but uh, so I try and find shortcuts wh where I can so here we are in Ad Adobe Pr Premiere and I'm going to import the JPEG that I was working on 
and put it on the on the timeline. And now I'm going to make the next movement um, of the character. The 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 guy I think is going to turn down and look at the pin pinball machine. Um, so I just want to draw his head, a new version of his head, um, and paste that on here. And that'll be um, version B of this particular shot. So what I just did was sh shot 30A, and this is going to be shot 30B. In the final animation, it'll all be the same shot but I'm just trying to impart some movement to my animatic to try and uh, use it for timing purposes. And keep in mind, this, uh, this is really not... <laughs> The end result of this is not really a, fan a fantastic drawing or anything. It's just a visual placeholder to try and get a sense of what the final is going to look like. Um, so I'm not working real hard at making it great. I'm w in this part, I'm really working hard at making it done. Okay, so I've got my character looking down, and I'm going to go back into Premiere and import it in, cut it to the timeline, and there you go.